I don't know, guys, but... What do you think? Sorry, guys, I'm trying to keep this still. I don't know, guys, but... What do you think is better? But I'll tell you one thing. These two games right here... They're great. I've reviewed... Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. They're great. So we know these are good. Pokemon Christmas, anyone? Yeah. I must say they're good because I made these things. I made these things, so they automatically win. They've been getting 10 out of 10s on my reviews. Better than Monday Night Raw and SmackDown Live. Oh! There's one more thing sitting on my bed. And it's... WWE... 2K18. How could a good treasure, how could a treasure like WWE 2K18 could be beaten by Pokemon? Well, there's only one way to find out. Stay tuned, everybody. How could... How could WW2K18 could have possibly be beaten by... How could WW2K18 possibly be beaten by these two games? How could... How is that, Patrick? How is it that WW2K18 Gets beaten by two Pokemon games. And your create and your fantastic work at these Pokemon Christmas styles. Well, the answer is simple. The answer is incredibly simple. Well actually. Just give me, just give me a sec, guys. I need to clean this up. You see, that is a good question. How are these two games better than WWE 2K? It's because I've reviewed these already. That's why. I've reviewed these already, and I gave those a positive outcome. There were a few negatives in those games, but most of them were good outcomes. I've even got Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon sitting on my wall. That shows you how good it was. I got a little poster for it in one of those um, JB Hi-Fi books. You know, if you you know people in Melbourne, you know people in Melbourne. They get like, they grab like, you know, um, you know, they grab those JB Hi-Fi books and, you know, they'll have like a poster in there. Yeah, that's where I got that from. I got that from Melbourne Central. And it looks like it's now officially raining on the outside. But hey, I'm out here doing, I'm going to be doing this for you guys and anyway. Of course. Of course. My friggin' friend, bloody. This is what I. This is what. This is what I don't like about Messenger. Great. And I think my. I think my friends are just broke. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. My friggin' phone, I mean, seriously, my phone. Would you for real look at my phone? 
I freaking pressed the lock, I, I, I pressed the close button, and then it froze for a couple of seconds. Then it froze for a couple of seconds, thinking my phone got bloody stuck, and then it goes to this screen, and then it tells me hello. What a pe- what a piece of junk. I just do one simple thing, and then this pe- Then it just doesn't close. There we go. Thank you. Stupid phone. Seriously. Anyway, I'm here to give you guys my full opinions on WW2K18. <sighs> okay. Um, okay, I'm going to be as unbiased as I can here. Because my opinions have really changed on WW2K18 in the past. Even though I'm the type of person who can sit down for like hours and hours playing a game and, you know, just have a lot of fun, doesn't mean it's a good game. Does not mean that at all. I really do look, do like the updates that 2K18 did, you know, with the models. You know, Sasha Banks looks like Sasha Banks now. Alexa Bliss looks more better. It's, you know, Seth Rollins, you know. Alistair Black, he actually looks really good. He looks fantastic. Drew McIntyre, he looks great too. Ruby Riot actually looks decent. The models of these characters look really good. So that's one positive. Now, here's the thing. When I first got the game, I was like, oh, people should really take it easy on the game, you know. Just because everybody's been bitter about the other 2K games doesn't mean they can, you know, just straight up say, oh, WWE 2K18 will officially suck on the day that it's released. You don't know that. You should just give it a go. So that's what I did. I gave it a chance. I'm not like, I'm not like most people. I'm not like most people. You know? I'm not like most people. So I wanted to give it a chance. At first, I was thinking, you know what? This is going to be good. You know, 2K18, look. 2K18's universe mode updated. You know, you now got power rankings. But, I will be honest. There are a few minor inconsistencies with the game. Universe mode doesn't have a draft. Which sucks because we're in the middle of a brand split Jojo's the only ring announcer which again we're in the middle of a brand split we've got the same commentators for every show Raw, Smackdown, NXT 205 Live every si Michael Cole, Corey Graves and Byron Saxton are the only people doing all four shows Where's Maura Ranallo and, and Nigel McGuinness? Where's um Tom Phillips? Where's um that where are those two where's Nigel McGuinness and that um Vic guy who do two oh five live? They that THQ THQ made great WWE games. They gave us a draft. They gave us you know, in universe mode, they gave us draft events. Sure, two, sure, two K, yeah, sure, two K did it with fourteen and fifteen, and I think sixteen as well. I'm gonna tell you guys something. Two K sixteen actually feels more polished. Well, even though some people do think the game sucks in general, but what I like to do on my games when I do universe mode. I like to, to I like to delete every character off their current brands so then I can do my own draft. 2K16 actually does that. 2K16 actually lets you take off every wrestler off your game. And then you can just choose who you want on your brands. But 2K17 and 18, they don't do that. 2K18 it, you, the only the only perfect amount that you can have is 15. 
The only way to fully delete all these characters off their off the brands is to delete the brand. Delete the brand. You got to delete Monday Night Raw, SmackDown, and NXT off of the calendar. And what makes this worse? And what makes it worse is that you can't put them on Raw or SmackDown. When you click on them, it will only have 205 Live. So you're basically putting all these wrestlers on 205 Live. That was the thing I hated. And I had to go out of my way. And this is the serious, serious problem. I went out of my way. I opened up Notepad and I, and I was typing up. All the characters I wanted on Raw and SmackDown, and then I was just adding them in as I go along. You know, do you know how hard work? Do you know how much hard work that is? 2K18 should not be making me do that. 2K18 should be should be allowing to have Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and 205 Live all on the brands, and you taking off every single wrestler. 2K if 2K16 lets you do that. Why can't these other games do that? The, I mean, like, here's the other thing. 2K16 had all the current champions. They still had all the current champions who were champions on that game s still get taken off just because they're champions. And and I want to update the and I want to update the titles because I don't like the universal title. I want to update the championships, and then and then it tells me. Oh, you can't delete the main world championship. Tells me you can't delete the Universal Championship and WWE Championship. I want to take the title off Jinder Mahal, and I want to take the title off Brock Lesnar, but I can't because it won't let me take it off. How stupid is this? How stupid is that? Universe, um, universe mode, I will give Universe mode the benefit of the doubt. It does look good. But it's just the same thing. It's the same thing in 2K17. I thought when they were said, oh, we're updating universe mode, I was thinking, okay, cool. So now we can finally have backstage interviews. We can finally have wrestlers interviewed backstage. You can have tag team promos. No. It's the same thing. Same thing. And here's another major flaw I hate about Universe Mode. Is that I hate is that when you're trying to lower, when you're trying to do your own draft, they only allow you to have a 15 amount. They only allow, they only allow you to have 15 people allowed on the brand. And as soon as you go ahead and click another wrestler and remove that person from that brand, the game kicks you out. The game kicks you out. Your screen goes blue, and it tells you there's an error. That, and, that, and that whole error thing would come up. That really pisses me off. It's the game's way of saying, nope, you can only have 15. 15 only. Don't try and break the rules. That pisses me off. And also what pissed me off is that when the game was first released, I couldn't do promos. No, seriously, I couldn't. In Universe Mode, you couldn't do promos. In Universe Mode, when the first time when the first time the game came out. When it first came out. When it first came out. It boots you out of a self-promo. It boots you out of a tag team promo. Face turn promo. Heel turn promo. You name it. It kicks you out of them. Bullshit. Absolutely terrible. My career mode's no, no better. I stopped playing my career mode after I won the NXT Championship. Because that shows you how bad I don't like my career mode. I beat Bobby Roode, I became the NXT Champion, and I stopped. I stopped. My career mode is a really bad, is an incredibly bad idea. Where's my showcase mode? That was fun. Showcase mode was fun. I wanted one on Brock Lesnar. When 2K17 was coming out, I was like, Oh, here we go. I can't wait. 
to have a, I can't wait to play as Brock Lesnar and, 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 on his, and they were going to have a showcase mode of him and as soon as the game came out no showcase mode no showcase mode Road to WrestleMania? Why can't you bring that back? Road to WrestleMania is fun. I really enjoyed that. And all those SmackDown vs. Raw games. WWE 12 was the last game to do it. And I will say WWE 12's Road to WrestleMania's was possibly the best. Two K WWE thirteen added in the Attitude Era mode. Added in an Attitude Era mode. Sure, that was fun. Sure, that was fun. Two K fourteen added in a thirty years of WrestleMania. Yeah, that was interesting. But then after that, then they threw in sh Showcase, and then they get rid of it. Two games we have Showcase, and they get rid of it. Then give us Road to WrestleMania. Bring back Road to WrestleMania. Please. If you don't want Showcase mode, give us Road to WrestleMania again. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't really... 2K is all about the money. They're all about the money. They just want you to buy the game. And, and they're like, ha ha, this is all you get. Outdated attires. I mean, friggin' Kevin Owens is the face of America. He only had that for like about a couple of months. He only had that while he was on SmackDown Live. As soon as he lost the United States title. That was his SmackDown gimmick. Face of America. Emma, she still has those stupid shoulder pads and she still has her old theme. Sure, people preferred her old theme, but... I mean, Jesus Christ, can't you keep up with the program? Keep up with the program. Keep everything updated. The one thing I... The one thing I did appreciate is that they gave Bobby Roode a secondary entrance. They gave him a takeover entrance... They gave him a takeover entrance, which I really did appreciate. They gave Bobby Roode a secondary entrance in case he didn't want the first one. So I appreciate that. One thing is that that you got Jinder Mahal coming out as inner peace. We get the inner peace Jinder Mahal. Now at first I didn't really. At first, at first when I saw all these outdated attires, I was like, nah, it shouldn't really matter. I, I'm thinking, ah, outdated attires, people always complain about that. But now I'm starting to see why people do complain about that. But, I still think it's a silly thing to act, I still think it's a silly thing to get mad about. Baron Corbin, he should have had his new theme. When they were going through the entrances, when they when, when they were still showcasing, you know, when some of these entrances were still weren't released, I was thinking there was a strong possibility that they could have been keeping up to date with everything. But of course, of course, no. But they're not. They weren't keeping updated. They were just being lazy. I do appreciate the Royal Rumble being fixed finally. I do appreciate that. I appreciate the Elimination Chamber getting a nice update. There are a few things I appreciated with 2K18. But the one thing I refuse, that I refuse to see on my Dodo 2K18 games, is way too many legends. Way too many. Hall of Famers only. Hall of Famers only. I wonder how many... I wonder how many... I can only imagine how many of those wrestlers... How many of those wrestlers that we got on 2K18 were Hall of Famers. 
You get we get way too many legends. Well, there, there should have been like good opening spots for people like Mandy Rose, Liv Morgan, Aaliyah, you know, Black Buddy Murphy, Wesley Blake. You know, NXT, they should be allowed to get a bigger... The NXT should be allowed to have a bigger update. I mean, freaking Beth Phoenix is the newest inductee in the Hall of Fame. And, and she is thrown on a DLC pack. Along with Matt Hardy and two more Hall of Famers. Why? Why is why is Beth Phoenix a DLC? She should automatically be on the game, considering that the, the Legends looks to be like all the Hall of Famers. The Rock isn't even even a Hall of Famer, and he's classified as a Legend. And that is a and even the Undertaker, yeah he yeah 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 Undertaker is a Legend, but if you are not if you're not in the Hall of Fame. You should not be on the legends. That that's basically how I feel, man. I don't even know half of these. I don't even know many of these these uh legends. Ricky Martel, I don't know him. Sure, I recognize Ricky Steamboat and some of these other big big names from the past. It, legends should be Hall of Famers only. Way too many stings. What 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 was it with all the stings? You had the WWE Sting and all of his WCW Stings. What is it with all these multi-characters? Isn't it difficult? To, is, why couldn't you do what 2K14 and 2K15 did? You know, add all these alternate attires onto the character that's on the game. They did it with John Cena and CM Punk in 2K15. Sure, CM Punk had a secondary attire, but that was from his, but that was from his uh, showcase mode. There were multiple Alberto Del Rios in 2K15, multiple Randy Orton's, multiple Sheamus's, and I'm thinking, what is with all these multiple characters? What's with all the multiple characters from all these part from from 2K15? That is my main thing I hate about 2K games. They just throw multiple characters in. They just they, they don't even think about, you know, adding them all into one attire. They're just like, oh, I'll just put this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. People won't care. Oh, yeah, I do care. I do care that, about the fact that I've got five stings on my game. Yeah, I care so much that I've got multiple Undertakers on my game. No, I don't care. I want one Sting and one Undertaker. You want his attires? Put them in as alternate attires. Put them in as alternate attires and put them on that Sting that is in the game. You don't add four more Stings. That is the one thing I hate. Women's roster got a big update. Yeah, that's... Yeah, they, yeah, that, that's what they seem to be doing now. Trying to make more women, trying to make the women's rosters look more bigger. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Adding Brie Bella to every game, even though she's retired, well, she is r rumored to be coming back. I mean, hell, I wish AJ Lee was in WWE 2K16, considering that was her last year. But no, you didn't throw her in that game. You didn't bother putting her in that game. You, you kept Brie Bella. In 2K17 and 18, where really she should have been taken out of the games and brought back into the games when she's back in WWE. I don't get that. I don't get that at all. So that is why. Two K eighteen, you know, I was impressed with it at first. But now Delete for me. These games are better than WWE 2K18. Don't like, don't like, don't don't like my opinion. Too bad.
I had more fun playing Pokemon than playing WW2K18. And I think that's a very serious problem. And I think that's a serious problem. If someone like me had a lot of fun playing Pokemon, then you're WW2K18, and that's a problem. But, before I go, there's one more thing I should have mentioned. No ambulance match, and no Punjabi prison, no Fatal Five Way. Now, Fatal Five Way is the first thing I'm going to talk about. Everyone was reporting, everyone was making those reports that there's going to be a Fatal Five Five Way. Even Samoan Joe himself, Samoan Joe himself, on IGN, said that there will be a, a Fatal Five Way in WWE 2K18. We buy the game? Fatal Five Way? Fatal Five Way? Um, where's Fatal Five Way? That was my that was my thought when I got the game and there was no Fatal Five Way. So WWE 2K made Samoan Joe look like an idiot. No ambulance match and no Punjabi prison. Why weren't these matches thrown in? Lazy. Laziness. So, I don't care what you guys think. These games, these two Pokemon games, and these two Pokemon games were released in the same month. Well, actually, no. WWE 2K18 was, uh, was put out in October. These were, bring out in no these were out in November. If these two Pokemon games, if these two Pokemon games can prove to be better then a WWE game, I think that's an issue. Well, in my opinion, these were better than WWE 2K18. Even my little Christmas Pokemon cards down there were better than WWE 2K18. I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know what's going on. For whatever reason, WWE has really pissed me off, and Pokemon's really been making me happy. Two great games. Well, I'm just start. Well, I'm actually starting on this one really soon. This was a great game, and I know this will be a great game because I'm starting it up very shortly. But these two Pokemon games are going to be great, and hopefully, I get a new PS4 controller so that way I can start showing off WWE 2K18, maybe match stipulations, because I really do did enjoy doing that. So anyway, guys, I'm out. That is your WWE 2K18 review. Not good, man. Not good. I give it... I give it a 5. I give 2K18 a 5. Bloody cat scratching on my wall. And these games, if you didn't see my review, I gave these a 9. Anyway, guys, I'm out. Hope you all enjoyed my video. And um, I'll see you guys back here a little bit later on with uh, Shush Cat. And I'll see you guys with my Dragon Ball Super review episode 108. Yeah, 118. 118. Alright, guys, I'll see you guys then. See you later.